like, like it's a bad thing to fall in love with me. guys you want to make the uh, pro angler turn a little quicker with the mirage drive pedals lean your kayak over of course don't fall out but leaning does help to get your turn a little bit tighter so anyway what's up guys you know who I am you know what you're watching today I decided to go out it's not the best of weather looks like it could uh, start pouring down on me but wanted to go fishing and today I'm going to do something a little different I'm just going to fish uh, old-fashioned style with a bobber and a hook and a cold worm so who knows what I can land maybe some pan fish probably a lot of catfish and who knows what else but I'll probably do some bass fishing too but I felt like doing something a little different I'm going to be using a Little inexpensive Abu Garcia spinning rod. It's real short, I think it's like, I don't even think it's six feet. It's got eight pound test on it. Uh, I even had to take my uh, bobber off of my rear view mirror because I didn't even have any because I never fish like this for the most part. And if I do, then I'm always using my pool noodle with the coffee stir. You guys seen that. So anyway, it's a lot of fun to catch a catch a big fish on a small rod. So thought I'd do something different and hopefully I don't get rained out. So yep that's about it. One thing I can tell you it is cold. So just an update you guys probably have noticed in my last few videos that I've been wearing these buffs and different kinds of buffs and I have them posted on my website now because unfortunately uh, I've had tons of problems with getting my buffs in, uh, the smiley buffs that a lot of you guys have been asking for. Um, I don't know what's going on. I, I got the shipment in and they were too loose. It's stretchable 100% polyester and they were too loose, even for my big head. So I know for you guys it probably would have just, uh, it wouldn't even stayed on. So what's the point of having a buff if it doesn't fit? And I'm not going to give you guys something that doesn't work. So. I guess just give me more time. I don't know what to say. I, I apologize, but I'm working on it. And here's another tip for you guys that own the motor, my water ninja trolling motor. You probably noticed that I'm using the pedals, and the reason I'm using the pedals is one, for exercise, but two, when it's weather like this and I'm unsure of what it's going to do that day, whether it's going to thunderstorm or it's going to rain or high winds, I prefer the pedals because they go faster. And I've said this before, and if the weather gets bad, I don't want to be relying on anything but my legs to get me home. So I'm going to head out this way. The other day I went night fishing and had an absolute blast. I must have caught 17 fish within a matter, matter of, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. And there was nobody else on the water. It wasn't conditions to be fishing, but I just happened to find where they were at. And it was cast after cast, and nice sized bass. 
And unfortunately, I haven't figured out a way to film at night where you guys would be able to watch it. I swear, that's, that's really when all the action happens. Just a quick question for you guys. I do eat largemouth bass. I don't eat the real big ones. I like to throw them back for the sport, but the ones that are just at the right size to barely be the uh, legal limit, yeah, I keep them. A lot of people say, oh, you eat largemouth bass. That's, that's gross, but really they're not. I prefer bass over the catfish in this lake. Of course, I'm fishing Lake Condor. If you guys want, I can show you how I prepare them. So you guys let me know. I cook them two different ways, a healthy way and an unhealthy way. Both of them are good. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the spot where I was fishing just a few days ago at night and see if the fish are still there. If you guys are ever in the Lake Conroe area and you want to come fishing, hit me up. Now's the time to go. It's cooling off. The boat traffic is at a minimum. So we can go all over this lake. And a lot of you guys have been talking about doing some fishing trips. So come on out to Lake Conroe. Let's get together. Let's see what we can make out of this. Heck, maybe we can start our own little fishing tournament. That'd be pretty nice. As the sport of kayaking gets increasingly popular, I wouldn't see why we wouldn't have a good turnout. So, uh, Salasa, I'd just like to say congratulations uh, on this video for your win, your win for the giveaway. I hope that stuff works out well for you. And I don't know if you guys got mad and didn't watch that video all the way to the end, but that is something I want to do. Maybe every thousand subscribers is do a giveaway. And uh, eventually maybe give away one of my motors and, heck maybe even a kayak one day I don't know and this is what I love to do so I'd like to keep on doing it come on Once again, another advantage of a kayak. Get the fish sitting down if I want to, which I guess you could do in a boat. But I'm close to the water, so, <clears throat> so when I get my hands dirty, chicken liver, worms, whatever it is, catfish, dough baits, I can simply reach over the side and rinse off my hands. And if I do drop worm guts or shad or whatever in the bottom of the kayak, I don't have to worry about getting my carpet dirty because I don't own carpet. <laughs> Fish on, fish on. What do we got here? Oh yeah. Look at there. We got a little fishy. I was paying attention to the cork and working this Texas rig real slow along the bottom. Caught this fella. Not a monster, but boy did I hook him bad. I wasn't paying attention. We're gonna do a little surgery and save him though. Okay, got it. He's gonna be just fine. He's bleeding a little, but get him back in the water, he'll be fine. All right, well, we caught something. How about that? Oh, and I got a little nasty green stuff, I guess, from that fish in my kayak. It's clean now. Didn't mess up my carpet. Got another question for you guys. I'm trying to make an intro for my videos. Something catchy, you know, short, probably less than three seconds long. Uh, with my logo but you know some kind of little jingle or tune at the beginning and if any, any of you musically talented people would care to take up something like that let me know um, just to help my videos out some and I'll promote you too so maybe we can work together back to fishing <laughs> Ooh, 
Fish on, guys, fish on. I don't think he's very big. Oh, don't cross my other line. Get over here. Oh, yeah, look at that monster. Little guy. It's real funny. The bottom feels like it's a sand bottom with a bunch of ridges. That may not be the case. That's what it feels like. And I'm kind of running this worm right across the bottom real slow and then working it kind of like you would a shaky head. And that's when he hit it. Later, guy. We're getting a bite over there. Yes, we are. All right, fish on, fish on. And I got another rod out. I'm pretty sure this is a catfish. Which way are you going, buddy? Try to get him on this side. Where are you going? Where are you going? What do we got here? got a little cat. Felt like a monster though. Look at here. Hey, too bad. He probably was edible. Let's see what we got. What do you think? There you go. We only got one cat on the small rod, so yeah, that's fun. Throw him back. Just as I threw him back, my uh, my rod fell in the water. No worries though, we got a float on it. Let's see if we can get some more. Well, the bites have slowed down, guys. I think it's about time to get out of this wind and move to a different location. Pretty much find anything you want out here on the water. There's always something floating up. Always something giving me ideas. We're almost to our spot. Come on. smaller than I thought he was going to be. Oh, 
My hook's completely bent in a circle. The circle hook now. Fish on, fish on. Fish. Oh, it's fun fighting them on this little rod. Yeah, good. A little belly on this guy. Catfish. That's not a bad one. Too bad. Not bad little catfish. I've had enough of the catfish. I want to try my luck with some bass fish. Still a little green. All right. That's a healthy looking bat. Let's get some more. all the big boys there. Fish on, fish on. What do we got here? Okay. Right, yeah. 
You don't want to let go of my bait. Let go. Huh. Not a bad test, dude. Not what we're looking for. So do any of you guys kayak fish all year round, even in the winter time? Because I do. And I got a fish on. That don't feel like a catfish. And it ain't. Come here, little guy. Oh, he's a fighter. Fighter. All right. He ain't bad. Look at the silver color on it. Not a bad fish. Keeper. No black spots. Let's catch a bigger one. So anyway, back to what I was saying. I fish all year round and I'd love to crappie fish. But it seems so hard to find crappie in a kayak. Or maybe I'm just fishing the wrong lake. I don't know. But I definitely want to get some crappie. I'll tell you one thing, guys, it's very hard for me to talk while I'm fishing. So the things I come up with and say, you got to appreciate because for the most part, I don't like talking when I'm fishing. So I do this for you guys. Yeah, look at this guy. Alright guys, I got the poor man's power pole down. Gonna do a little Texas rig fishing here. See if we can end the show with a big fish. Let's see what happens. Well, unfortunately guys, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to end this video with a nice big fish because I'm about to run out of battery and I'm also about to run out of time. I'm going to play tennis with my son. But anyway, I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And make sure to share this video. I got to get out of this wind. It's too cold. It's about to be dark soon. So, catch you on the next episode guys. Thanks for watching. Come on.